Today we celebrate St. Thomas the Apostle. Poor Thomas, he made one remark and has been branded as doubting Thomas for 20 or so centuries. But if Thomas doubted, he also believed. He made what is certainly the most explicit statement of faith in the New Testament, my Lord and my God, as recorded in John's Gospel. In expressing his faith, Thomas gave Christians a prayer that will be said till the end of time. He also drew a compliment from Jesus to all later Christians. Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Thomas should be equally well known for his courage. He surely spoke with sincerity when he expressed his willingness to die with Jesus. The occasion was when Jesus proposed to go to Bethany after Lazarus had died. This meant walking into the very midst of Jesus' enemies and to almost certain death. Thomas was not the only apostle who showed signs of weakness and lack of understanding. Holiness is a gift of God, not a human creation. It's given to ordinary men and women. It's God who gradually transforms the weaknesses into the image of Christ, the courageous, trusting, and loving one.